Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a tarot reading for you. So this will be your daily for today, Tuesday. Let's see what is in store for the beautiful fishy community. This is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And of course, please take whatever resonates with you, leave the rest behind, okay? Let's see. For this particular reading, I will be taking reversals. And before we start, I'm just going ahead and shuffling the cards, but before we start, it would be amazing if you could go ahead and like this video. Reading has been set in place. Let's see. What are the main energies here and how you can be best guided to navigate them? First card that we have here, we got the Nine of Wands. Beautiful card. So right now, some of you Pisces could be going through one of those moments in which you're really needing to, pu to push through. You're really needing to tap into that power of yours and really go deep into that warrior energy. Really getting that last bit of fuel to maybe finish a situation or to keep going somehow. It seems here with the Nine of Wands that a lot of perseverance has been required from you. You're resilient, you're strong, you've had faith, and this is really um, paying off Pisces. However, it may feel like a lot sometimes. You may feel depleted and fatigued, and sometimes you may ask yourself, is this worth it? Is what I'm doing actually going to pay off in any way? Or am I deluding myself? Am I thinking, you know, wishful thinking to the point of my own exhaustion or burnout? Some of you are actually, you know, wondering about these things. For the challenge, we got here the Ten of Wands in the reverse, which is actually something I love to see for you, Pisces, because many of you like to keep yourselves very, very busy. By the way, if you're watching the video in which, you know, I show my face, you may see me looking up a lot, because that's how I see if the other uh, point of the camera is actually, you know, focusing and anything like that, because I'm also filming from um, up here. If some of you would like to actually have the view of the cards instead. So I'm going to be posting both videos, you know, for every reading that I do here for you to choose, you know, whatever resonates with you the most. Anyway, some of you may have been having some issues taking a break, saying no, saying, you know, setting boundaries. You may have had a hard time unburdening yourself or not getting burdened at all <laughs> some of you are just saying yes to so many things you may be over committing you may be over promising or maybe that was your tendency and at this point i feel like some of you because you're feeling exhausted or because you're feeling worn out you're like you know what i can't do everything i can't satisfy everyone i can't just continue this way Okay, this is not going to resonate with all of you, but with some it will. And even though that has been a challenge, it seems like you are achieving freedom. You're really valuing these points of view that you have discovered or that are um, popping up here. And yeah, it's like, thanks to that, you have been able to do some progress, Pisces, it seems. Thanks to that, now you're moving with the chariot, you know, recent past and the present moment, I would say, with the chariot into success. Movement forward. You have learned the power of balance and you have learned the power of your willpower. <laughs> it's like, Pisces, you know for a fact that if you want to manifest something, you have no problem putting in your heart, your muscle, your blood, sweat and tears. 
And usually, if you put all those things in, you get what you want. That is no secret to you or the people around you. You may even have heard that phrase, you know, between your family members or people in your life. Like, well, you know, whenever you set your mind to something, you know, you get it. So just go ahead. And I feel like that is precisely what you have been doing. And now with this wisdom, you are setting better boundaries for yourself. Seven of Pentacles is showing up in the present moment. So yeah, it's like this almost dance in which you are like, okay, if I burden myself and go into this like overwhelmed, overburdened exhaustion and burnout, then you know that you start feeling resentful and hopeless and it starts to go south. But if you try to remain in your balance and you're too flexible and too relaxed, then it's like the harvest doesn't come as quickly as you need it. So where can you draw that line? How can you get that balance to really show up here in which you're not burned out and you're not, you know, doing things in such a way that is hurtful to you and your body. But how can you still push through enough to be that overachiever that you love to be, Pisces? And that may be a journey that you're in right now, just trying to find that balance. Maybe some of you, you know, you wake up and you're feeling kind of crappy and you go online and it's like you tap into this self-care loving movement right you watch videos and it's like it's okay every day is going to be different be patient with yourself be compassionate and you definitely agree with all of that but then maybe a deadline is coming and you feel the complete opposite and you start looking at david goggings kind of things <laughs> Like there is mind over body, no need for sleep, like you can do it all, it's all in your mind, you know? And you may tap into that kind of like real hustler in you. And I feel like that is a superpower that you can do both. And that if you embrace both, knowing how to pick your battles, then, you know, that's your win. That's, that's what I'm getting. So, future. Fair fight, peace after trouble, making amends, reconciliation, past resentment, regret, remorse, and cutting loose from all of that resolution. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's almost making amends with yourself too. You're being represented right now by the Temperance card. So yeah, balance, harmony, healing, patience, self-control, moderation, purpose, peace, calm, tranquility, and serenity. That balance. Go hard. What is it? Work hard, play hard? Yeah. <laughs> Work hard, play hard. I feel like if you do that in one way or another, you're honoring both your inner child and your adult. And you're having that balance. It's like that feeling, maybe something that you crave, it may be something that you're getting right now. That feeling of going to bed at the end of the day and just being like, yes, I am exhausted, but today I ate well. I took good care of my body, I worked out, I did everything I needed to do. So even though I'm exhausted, I know I'm taking care of myself. Or I know that all of these efforts are not going to lead to burnout. Because there is burnout and there is exhaustion, I feel. Um, and I, I don't know, it's like, well, you guys know that I just recently released a product about burnout. So that's... That's kind of this reading in particular is showing up like that. It's sometimes it's not doing too much. Being burned out sometimes comes from not doing 
enough of the things that recharge you. Some of you may actually not be working all that hard and you feel burnt out and bitter, but you're not working that hard. And then you wonder like, I've worked so much harder in the past. Like why am I, my resistance is trash or something. And that may be because you're not doing the things that your soul needs to be at peace and happiness. Maybe you're just doing all of the tasks that you have to do, but you hate. And maybe you're on top of them and maybe they're not even that much, that many. But you figure it out and you do it and you're wondering why on earth do you feel the way you do? In shamanism, they usually ask you like, when was the last time you laughed? When did you stop dancing? When did you stop singing? Oof, this gives me chills. For a while, I didn't notice. I share sometimes personal, very personal things here. So if it's the first time, um, I hope you enjoy that. If not, like, I don't know, maybe not your ear. <laughs> but um, I remember after my sister's passing, which is coming, like the five year anniversary is coming soon, which is insane. I, of course, like I, that destroyed me in so many ways that I can't even like explain. And I've been, you know, working on putting myself back together ever since. And I started a new romantic relationship a year ago. And when that person entered my life and everything started to be more colorful and beautiful, and I started like, you know, doing things and living again and taking pictures and stuff like that, I realized then that I was smiling in the pictures with, you know, my teeth, you know, showing my teeth, really happy, joyful, comfortable. And that made me realize, oh my goodness, like for the last four years or whatever, I've been smiling without my, without showing my teeth. And it seems so random and it seems so insignificant and like weird for me to say. But that led me to understand that I haven't been all that happy. You know, I haven't been all that fulfilled, even if I thought I kind of was. That was kind of like the, the cue. And I was like, oh, wow. I haven't seen pictures like this of me for a long time. And that sometimes recharges us, meaning doing things that we love, having a good time, energizes us more than sleeping, more than, you know, meditating even. Doing things that we love and having fun and laughing and dancing and singing can eliminate burnout without you having to work any less. And sometimes we work very little and we're burnt out of, my, are out of our minds. And that is because of the things that we're choosing, right? So in your environment, you got the 10 of cups in the reverse. So some of you could be having family trouble, you know, around you, there could be some kind of conflict. Maybe there's parts in your family that are not all that in harmony with others or with you. There could have been conflicts or disconnections. Um, you know, you may find yourself having different values than your family and that's okay. Around you, there could be people actually having a harder time. For some of you, it's, you know, the usual family drama that, you know, we all experience from time to time. But for others of you, I do feel like there is something really intense going on for someone around you. Could be a family member. Some of you are more affected by this than others. This may sound kind of fucked up but like some of you are just kind of used to the drama and you don't really indulge like indulge in it you don't really subscribe to it anymore it's like you know whatever and that's maybe because you have had so much drama in your life for hopes and fears some of you are wanting to expand 
wanting to move into the future, you may be wanting to open a new chapter that may contain perhaps a commitment or something along those lines. And you may be afraid of things turning in the future, meaning what if right now things are great, but what if in the future there's bad luck or something turns, something changes. And the Wheel of Fortune to me is a card that precisely talks about that. How in life there will be ups and downs. How sometimes everything will go in our favor and sometimes how everything will go against us, or at least feel that way. And that doesn't mean that we're doing something wrong. It doesn't mean that we're doing something right. You know, it's, it's in a way like just the ebb and flow of life. But some of you may be afraid of that. You may find a lack of reliability in life because of it. It's like, how can I do all these things and plan for these things if maybe it's going to rain? How can I commit to this financially if maybe in the future things will change? It's like some of you are wanting a structured foundation but not understanding how that can be possibly done or possibly accomplished, if that makes sense. Spirit is telling you here to try your best to be patient with yourself as you find this balance between David Goggins and Deepak Chopra or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what they, who David Goggins is, you will definitely understand that reference. And if you don't know anything about him, you should really look him up. David Goggins. He's the other side of the spectrum, to say the least. Some of you, because of delays or because of things taking too long for your liking, you may be feeling a little frustrated. Your temper could be a little bit... You know, maybe a little arrogant, reckless, volatile, irritated. But this balance that you're looking for is exactly what will, you know, bring you into that alignment, I feel. So comment below. Tell me if this is something that have has crossed your mind at all. If anything at all has resonated with you, please go ahead and like this video. Please go ahead and subscribe to this video, to this channel, not to this video, to this channel. <laughs> and, you know, help me out because I love you guys so much. I create all sorts of tools that will be waiting for you in the description box below um, for your life to basically get easier in any way that I can support you. You know, you know that I will. And so please always check that. Right now I have some spots for personalized readings. So if that is interesting to you, you can go ahead and check that too. And when you book, make sure that it's through the website. Once you booked, you book, please um, send an email to info katiemclaughlin at gmail.com and send me your three questions. You know, these 60 minute readings are um, three questions that you want to dive deep into. And these are only about you, not the Pisces Collective or Pisces Energy. These are all focused on your life and the characters in your life. So if you book, please go ahead and send that um, email to me. You can include your birthday, you know, your full name, all of that helps. And I'll be getting that video to you, that private reading, that link that you can continuously watch for as long as you want, as soon as possible. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.